Hi, I'm Courtney. Welcome to the Pets Digest. I'm very happy that you're here. We discuss all things dog gut health and longevity through diet for dogs. Uh, today I am continuing my series about arthritis in dogs and we're going to discuss three ways that you can help with any pain that your dog may be having with arthritis beyond what your vet can give you. Um, a little background about the Pets Digest. It started in 2019 and this is my dog Chi Chi. He was my muse for starting the blog. Um, I am a vet, however, I'm not your vet, unless you would like for me to be. Um, and I always have to make that disclaimer so that anything, if you change anything in your dog's diet, make sure you discuss it with your regular vet first, please. Um, many vets and owners notice a tremendous improvement uh, with a really, really beneficial diet for dogs. Um, if they're early on, usually with their arthritis. Now, I don't always uh, recommend just changing diet. I recommend that you see your vet, you get x-rays as needed. And if you need to, you get them on some type of pain medication that your vet can give you. However, food is one of the things that you will want to change regardless of what you do. One thing that you want to make sure of is that your dog is not overweight. So any type of weight management diet that you can put your dog on, your vet probably will do this anyway. Um, it's going to be really beneficial for your dog. While there is a lot more research needed around the prevention of osteoarthritis and things like that, most experts do agree that good nutrition um, that leads to maintaining a really lean and healthy body weight is one of the most important things you can do to prevent the development of, of arthritis in, in your dog and the worsening of arthritis in your dog. This is because um, if they're not at a healthy weight, it can call, put a lot of pressure on their joints. And you just want to encourage them to... Um, be a lot more active and this can also help to decrease their chances of developing or worsening their arthritis now with activity you do want to make sure that it's very low impact if they're already arthritic um you but you just in whatever way you can you want to decrease the pressure that is being imposed on your dog's joints because being obese it puts your dog at a higher risk for being, uh, for having arthritis, and you know, in other bone and bone deformations as well, like joint damage, um, that can happen. So make sure that you're always feeding your dog a really high quality diet, formulated with whole foods, preferably organic if you can, um, and refrain from feeding them table scraps and really fatty um, meats like ham or chicken with the skin on or any seasonings or anything that's really sugary. It's not great for them. The second thing that you want to do is to provide any nutraceuticals, any supplements, and I do have a video about that if you wanna check it out. And I also have a blog article that goes a little bit more in depth because I try to keep these videos pretty short. Your vet will probably have a lot of su supplement um, ideas or you can just research them. Um, nutraceuticals and supplements that include glucosamine, MSM, omega-3s have been shown to help treat arthritis in dogs and maybe decrease some of the pain that your dog may have. There are a lot of diets that are that include these already though. So if you're feeding your dog a, a diet for dogs that have arthritis, make sure you check the packaging, the ingredients to ensure that you're not going to be over supplementing them before you start them on anything else. And most vets will recommend waiting at least until your dog is a year of age. So if you have a puppy that has like hip dysplasia or elbow dysplasia or showing signs that they may already be getting arthritis, you may not want to put them on supplements this early in life. Um, speak with your vet about it, but most of them will want you to wait at least until they are one year of age. If your dog is being fed a really well-balanced, nutritious diet, it can always, um, it can't do, harm them, basically. So it can help, um, help their joints, help them um, through the provision of anti-inflammatories, antioxidants, because arthritis is basically the inflammation of the joints. So you want to make sure that they're on a really good, nutritious diet, 
um, to provide any type of assistance that you can. So many quality diets that either if they're bought or homemade, it will help to reduce inflammation. So that is, I guess that for me is the number one tip to make sure that you have your dog on a really, really extremely good diet. Um, so you want to do the weight management, you may want to do the supplements, and you want to make sure that they're on a really good, high quality, beneficial diet. So that's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully you will join me for the rest of the series. They come out every couple of weeks. I didn't want to bombard people with just arthritis videos. So if you want more information right now, I have a lot of the blog articles already written on my website. So you can just visit thepetsdigest.com. Make sure you join the email list as well. I have a weekly email list that goes out about all things dog gut health. Thanks. And I hope that you will subscribe and like the video. Bye.